This is how to draw alkenes. Step 1. Draw a chain with the correct number of carbons. Step 2. Make a double bond between two seams. Step 3. Add hydrogens around the carbons to make each carbon have four bonds. And you have to pay attention to where the double bond is when doing this. Step 4. Draw the lines in and make sure each letter has the correct number of bonds. So hydrogen has one bond and carbon has four bonds. We can figure out how many carbons the compound has from either its name or formula. So I made a blog post on how to find the formula from the name. And when you have the formula, you can also figure out the number of carbons. So in this case, we know that the first part of butene means four, so it has four carbons. And if we know the formula, we can also just see the number of carbons. Here's an example. Let's draw propene. Propene has three carbons, which we can deduce from the name. So we draw a chain of three carbons. And then we can put the double bond between any two carbons in this case. Put a single bond in the other place. Then we add hydrogens right around. But you have to pay attention to where the double bond is. When we draw in the other bonds connecting each hydrogen to a carbon, we can see that we can only add two hydrogens to the first carbon and one hydrogen to the second carbon because that leads to the maximum number of bonds that carbon can have, which is four. When we count these, we can make sure that each hydrogen has only one bond and then we count the number of bonds that each carbon has. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. The number of bonds are correct, so this compound is drawn correctly. Now, a bit more complicated example. Let's draw butene. Butene has four carbons, which we can find from the name. But in order to know where the double bond should go, they have to tell us whether it's but one in or but 2 in. Basically, what this means is it tells us the position of the double bond. And we start counting from whichever side the double bond is. So both of these first two examples are but one in. And for but two in, whichever side you count from, the double bond will be in the middle. So when we draw the full compound, adding the hydrogens around, adding in the other bonds, and making sure that each letter has the correct number of bonds, we can see that this is but one in, drawn correctly. To see more examples of other compounds, I'll leave a link in the description to a summary table with the name, formula, and structure of the first six compounds of alkenes. This is on my website where there are other notes as well. At the moment, I'm making an organic chemistry series for grade 10s. So stay tuned for more tutorials on this topic coming soon.